Now before we begin, I'm going to call a local dealer and see what they charge to replace the convertible top. What do you guess? I'm guessing four grand, most likely. Let's find out. Is this the service department? Yes, it is. Yeah, I have a 2000, uh, S2000, and I'm curious just to see what the cost is to replace the convertible top. Good afternoon. Just a general question. I have a uh, S2000. Any idea what the convertible top goes for the S2000? Yes, they're still available. What year is it? 2000? Yeah, hold up. Thanks. They're not available at the moment, and uh, they're $2,156.13 plus a tax. Okay. At the moment, they are not available. And do you guys install them as well? All right, thank you. Appreciate the help. Have a good one. So long. Okay, so I first called the service department. They bounced me to parts because they had no idea. This is a Honda. You know, this is nothing high end in a sense. And uh, as you can tell, the top itself was twenty one, twenty two hundred dollars uh, plus tax. I wasn't even paying attention. So let me tell you how. I came across this top and paid less than that. Now if you're new here, this is an S2000 that I purchased a few months ago. It needed some body work, it was not running, and now it's 100% mechanically ready to go. And I'll follow up in the next episode, start it up and so forth. But as you can see from these photos, the rear window was completely destroyed. On the early S2000s from the factory, it came with a vinyl window, not a glass window. And my plan was just to replace the window but keep the top. Let me show you the original top that this car had. So this is the top that came with the vehicle. Fortunately, no rips. Nothing like that whatsoever. But it's just stained. Just stained. As far as I could tell, this vehicle just sat outside in the elements. And it just really got bombarded with rain, snow, everything else that just attacked the vehicle. But my plan was, again, to remove that glass and clean it up. Now once I did remove that glass, by the way, let me show you. You see how it's just zipped in? So where's that zipper? So right here is a zipper. So you just unzip the entire window from the top. And once I did that, I tried to remove and clean up this, uh, it's really mold, and it just would not come out, just could not clean it up whatsoever. So the next step for me was, okay, what does it cost to replace the entire top? Now, during my research, I kept coming across the same manufacturer over and over again, and that was Robbins. And that is precisely what this is. It is a Robbins cloth convertible top. As you can see from their website, they make tops for many, many vehicles. They're not paying me to plug them or to mention them. The way I see this is, it's just as going to a car meet, meeting people who love their vehicles and sharing their experiences. So this is precisely what we have here, a Robbins cloth convertible top. You can see prices right on their website. This I believe is $700, $730, something like that, plus shipping. So not even close to Honda, drastically, drastically, more than 50, what is that, 70% less than Honda, not even close. But I still have a problem, and that problem is how in the world do I get this installed? The car isn't running, and it's not something I even want to even remotely try. And I have to thank a friend of mine, Bobby, and thank you, dude, because he was able to find a mobile installer. So if anyone lives in New York, New, New Jersey, Connecticut, uh, Jeremy is the installer's name. He was telling me he even, he's been to Virginia. Recently, he had a guy from North Carolina trailer his car to him. He's helping a guy in Texas through phone and email and and pictures and video and sort of that sort of thing. So if anyone needs help, I'll include his website below. Again, his name, the owner is Jeremy. Did a terrific job. Thank you, dude, again. It looks fantastic. So his cost to come here, remove the old top, which I did not remove, remove the old top and install the new top was $700. So all in, I had him do everything. He purchased the top, he came here and just did it. They cost me $1,450. 
So of course it's going to depend the distance he has to travel. I'm not sure where he came from. Uh, I, I know he's in Jersey somewhere. I don't know precisely where he is, but he had to travel at least three hours, I would say, round trip. And it was also a little bit less just because I had to remove all the trim pieces to remove that rear window at first. But you figure that's maybe like 100 bucks, 150 bucks. How much could it really cost? So ultimately, that's what it cost me. And again, if anyone needs help, I'll have his contact info below. And that's what we have here. So we're, I mean, this car is pretty much almost ready to go. In the next episode, we'll start her up. I'll show you the new the powder coat valve cover. I got the wheels, two of them. I have two more coming. I have the center console here, which I'm about to rebuild. You'll see that soon. The thing shot. Completely, completely shot. That's going to be done soon. Put the interior pieces back together. I got new red seat belts to install, uh, which are actually the factory ones, just re-webbed in red. So we're almost there, guys. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you soon.